Today, I wanna to give you five tips to better fabricate your next project. Tip number one is to make paper templates. Steel is a pain in the butt to work with. It's hard to bend, it's hard to cut, it's hard to move stuff around. Do it in paper. What I, what I like about a manila folder is it is heavy enough to, and strong enough to duplicate metal, but it's also light and easy to cut. It, it's a really good balance on, on, as a material to use for this kind of stuff. A paper template allows us to rough out a design quickly and then hone it into perfection. I mean, you can take little slivers and cut here and there, and bam, you've got the perfect template. We've all heard the mantra, measure twice, cut once. Let's take it one step further. We'll measure twice, we'll template once, and then cut once. This is gonna make for a great end result on our project. Tip number two is to measure holes from the ends. People often try to determine the spacing between the holes by measuring from one center of one hole to the center of the other, which is very hard to accomplish accurately. An easier way is to just measure from one side of one hole to the same side of the next hole it will give you the same measurement. Tip number three is to work your way up to a large drill bit. Start with your part clamped in a vise or to a bench, then use a center punch, drill a pilot hole, and then step up to larger bits till you reach the desired size. For example, if we need a half inch hole, we'll mark our spot with a center punch and then start with a 1 8 inch pilot hole. Then we'll enlarge that hole with a 5 16 inch bit and finally finish with the half inch bit. Tip number four is to cut wisely. It sounds simple, but when cutting bar or angle stock, make sure your blade encounters the least amount of surface area possible. Whether you're using a hacksaw, cutoff wheel, or powered saw, cutting on an edge with a small surface area will take less time and generate less heat than cutting on a large flat surface. Using an appropriate lubricant on your drills and saw blades will provide more accurate cuts and also extend the lives of your tools. Purpose-made cutting oils are available and worth keeping in your shop supply. All right. And finally, tip number five is to keep things safe. Yes, it sounds easy, but it's even easier to forget your eye protection, your gloves, your ear protection, get in a hurry, work when you're tired, and make safety mistakes. Uh, you wanna protect your eyes, your ears, and your limbs at all times and wear appropriate clothing. Stay away from clothes that fit loosely or have holes. If you've got fabrication tips of your own, we'd love to hear about them. Please put them in the comments section below and like and subscribe to our channel. And as always, if you like this sort of stuff, go to ClassicMotorsports.com where we do this kind of stuff all the time. Support brands that support Classic Motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit CRCIndustries.com to learn more.